Creating a named boundary and placing the content onto a new sheet. A named boundary is any closed element that has a name associated with it. Previously, you could create named fences from fences, clip volumes, and clip masks. Named fences have been renamed as named boundaries. You can place named boundaries using drawing boundaries. Named boundaries may also be grouped for processing sets of drawings onto sheets. In this section, you will learn to place a named boundary using the by two points method, generate a new sheet model that contains the content of the named boundary, and adjust the extents and positioning of a named boundary. Here in the MicroStation Connect edition, Begin by opening the Pond Plans DGN file from the DGN roadway folder of the SR20 project. From the View tab, click the Apply Save View from the Save Views ribbon group. In the Apply Save Views tool settings window, choose the P4 from the Save Views drop down menu. Issue a data point into the view to apply it. Next, select the Place Name Boundary tool from the Name Boundary ribbon group. Set the following options in the Tool Settings window. The By Two Points method, Retention Pond 4 for the name, the mode, place a single name boundary, and enable the Create Drawing option. You are then prompted to enter the first point of the name boundary. Issue a data point above and to the left of the contour lines for the pond. Move the mouse down and to the right and issue a data point for the opposite corner as shown here. Take note, these two points that you are selecting are intentionally less than the area needed for the plan. You will adjust this later to encompass the proper amount of area around the pond in the upcoming step. Next, you are prompted to accept or reject the place boundary. Issue a data point into the view to accept. The Create Drawing dialog opens. Ensure that Retention Pond 4 is in the Name field and then from the Drawing Seed drop-down menu, choose Plan Sheet Only. In the Sheet Properties section, set the Drawing Boundary to Plan Sheet Only and 1 inch equals 50 feet from the Detail Scale drop-down menu. Next, enable the option Add to Sheet Index, and then click the icon Select a Folder from Sheet Index. The Sheet Index Folder Picker dialog opens. From here, expand SR20, Roadway Plans, and then highlight the Drainage Plan Profiles folder and click OK. Ensure that the option Open Model is enabled and then click OK. The newly created sheet model opens with the name boundary referenced centered on the sheet. By adding this to the sheet index, the rules that you set for numbering each sheet within a folder were applied to the sheet. Take notice of the drawing title as well as the sheet number in the model's dialog. Furthermore, take notice of the title block that has been updated with the sheet number. If need be, the sheets can be rearranged in the sheet index, thereby updating the sheet numbers within the respective sheets. Hover your cursor over the drawing title. As you do this, a mini toolbar will appear. Move your cursor onto the toolbar and select the icon Open Design Model. The model where you placed the name boundary opens. Make the Element Selection tool active. Select the name boundary shape encompassing the pond and then select the lower left handle. 
Drag this handle down and to the left to include the area outside the pond and the corresponding notes. Issue a data point to place the handle. Repeat this process by selecting the upper right handle and dragging it up and to the right. From the View Group toolbar, select the Previous Model button. This action returns you back to the Retention Pond 4 sheet. You will notice that by changing the boundary in the Drainage Design model, that this has propagated to the sheet. Next, right click and hold to bring up the contextual menu. From here, select Level Off. Issue a data point on the name boundary, hence turning off the level. In this section, you learn to place a name boundary using the by two points method, generate a new sheet model that contains the content of the name boundary, and adjust the extents and positioning of a name boundary. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.